Hello everyone. Welcome to the online spoken English class. Today we shall know what are tenses or forms of verbs. We all have learned that verbs denote action. They are action words in the sentence. But don't they denote something more? By looking at the verbs, can we know about the time of the action referred and also whether the action was complete or still going on at the time of speaking? Let us see. Let us read these sentences. I write. I wrote. I will write. It can easily be seen that the first sentence is talking about the present time, that is, the time of speaking. The second sentence, I wrote, refers to past. And the third sentence, I will write refers to some future time when the speaker will write. Thus, by common knowledge we know that the first sentence is in present tense, the second is in past tense and the third that is I will write is in future tense. Now let us read these sentences. I am writing. I had written. I shall have written. What do you notice about these sentences? The first that is, I am writing shows that the action of writing is going on at the time of speaking. The second sentence, I had written, shows that the action took place in the past and also shows that it was complete at the time of speaking. The speaker had finished writing at the time of his statement. The third sentence, I shall have written, shows that the action of writing shall be completed at some future time. What do we notice? We notice that the form of the verb also expresses or shows the state of an action, that is, whether the action referred to is complete or going on at the time of speaking. So now we may understand what tense or form of a verb is. The tense shows us what is the time of action, whether it was done in the past or it is being done, performed in the present or it would be performed in the future. It also shows the status of an action, whether the work or the action has been completed, that is perfect or it's still continuing. A combination of the three tenses and the two aspects of a status of an action gives us the twelve forms of a verb. The tenses thus are actually verb forms and they show us both the time of an action and also the status of the action. The combination of the three tenses and two aspects 
give us the following 12 forms of verb which has been presented before you in this matrix the sentences deal with the action of playing cricket the act of playing cricket in the past tense can be expressed in the following four ways i played cricket i had played cricket i was playing cricket i had been playing cricket similarly in the present tense we can write the statement in four different ways i play cricket i have played cricket i am playing cricket i have been playing cricket in the future tense we can say i will play cricket i will have played cricket i will be playing cricket or i will have been playing cricket these four forms convey different senses about the status of the action of playing cricket we shall deal with each of them in later classes for the time being you must have learned now what exactly tenses convey in a sentence now for a quick recap in this module we learned that the verb in a sentence does not only indicate action but also the time of the action and the status of the action we also learned that there are 12 forms of any verb based on the time of action that is past present or future and its status whether the action is complete or still going on we shall deal with each individual tense in later modules thank you